We are once again this morning tracking major outbreaks of COVID-19 at meatpacking plants in Alberta. New cases at the Cargill plant. We've been telling you about that. It had the biggest outbreak in Canada back in the spring in the first wave. But we're also hearing about pork producer Olimel, now linked to more than 200 cases. And Michael Serapio has the details of both. Beginning with this Olimel situation, mm -hmm. Michael, this is not one we've talked about much. What do we know? Well, we know that the number have gone up rather quickly, Heather, and as a result, the union representing workers at this plant, uh, they want the government to move in quickly, they want the company to move in quickly and do a temporary shutdown to prevent any more deaths. Now, take a look at the numbers as we have them right now. Uh, as of yesterday, 215 cases of COVID-19 have been linked to the Olimel meat processing plant, as you say, in Red Deer. That includes 126 active cases and the death of one worker who was in his 30s and according to Alberta Health, had had no comorbidities. Now, the union is worried that this will get out of control. The number of cases, as I say, have grown significantly since last Friday, which is why they want Olimel to shut down the plant for two weeks and pay workers in full during that time. Really, a protocol that Olimel followed at a plant in Quebec back in March when only nine workers tested positive for COVID-19. At this point, no comment from the company so far on the union request for a shutdown. The company has apologized to staff with a company spokesperson uh, saying the following to CBC take a look the fact is no company can prevent an outbreak of some form or another during this pandemic we're doing all the sanitary measures to bring this under control says the company but not enough for the union uh, in addition to calling on the company for this temporary shutdown they're also calling on the Alberta government to protect citizens of the province in this case the workers at this plant uh, we can tell you that Alberta Health Services has brought in investigators to look at the safety protocols at this Olimel plant uh, also bringing in a testers to do COVID-19 testing right on site, Heather. So that is in Red Deer. Michael, if we jump back to High River, that's where mm -hmm. the Cargill meat plant is located. And we've talked about that previously, but already this week we've been reporting on another outbreak there. That's right, uh, of great concern because uh, as you noted earlier, Cargill was the site of this country's largest outbreak back in the spring of 2020. At this point, uh, we can tell you that uh, back then, 950 uh, people did test positive, which was half the workforce at Cargill and right now at the plant 11 cases are linked to an outbreak there seven of those cases are active now that number might seem small but the union is worried because this is how it unfolded before 10 workers initially testing positive in March of 2020 that quickly became hundreds of workers within days and by the end two workers uh, and one worker's father dying in connection to the outbreak now the union is at this point investigating trying to figure out whether or not this outbreak is isolated to one area of the plant to look at uh, the type of spread that they are seeing at the plant. Cargill, uh, they say they are working with Alberta Health Services to try to uh, look at their protocols at this moment in time. But again, a lot of concern because this is how it started and how it rolled out last spring, beginning with just a few cases that quickly became hundreds, Heather. Okay, Michael, thank you very much tracking that story for us this morning.